Our attitude ought to be that of serving in newness of life, serving in newness of spirit, spirit. having a newfound desire to please the Lord, not just with our soul winning, but in our personal life also. Amen. Being willing to judge yourself, look in the mirror and say, God, show me my problems. Yes. Show me my secret faults. Help me to hate the sin in my life Amen. so you can use me more in other people's lives. Right. This is a sacrifice that's not easy, but I believe God wants us to do it. Yeah. And how do we stay zealous as Christians? In our lives, how do we keep this zeal for the Lord to where, so we can share it with others? We get zealous against the sin in our own life. In 1 Corinthians 5, he says, Purge out therefore the old leaven. Mm -hmm. That's the sin. Yeah. That's the old way. Well, I've been doing it that way and it ain't working. Get the sin out of your life. Yes. You know what's wrong. You know where you're slacking. You know where you're being lazy. God reveals it to you. God is Holy Spirit. Now obey Him. Get it out of your life. You really want God to bless you? Then deal with that thing that God reveals to you. I don't have to tell you what it is. I don't know what it is, but God does. And each and every one of us, He deals with this on these things. And you can roll your eyes. You can ignore it. You can pretend it doesn't exist. You can turn the music up. It doesn't go away. God wants you to get serious and on fire and get zealous to get the sin out of your life. Amen. Get that old leaven out. Amen. That ye may be a new lump as your unleavened. For even Christ our Passover is sacrificed for us. He did so much for us. You shouldn't ignore it. Yeah. Now listen, John the Baptist taught his disciples first to turn to God and have faith in His Son, right? John the Baptist's salvation was correct. It wasn't repent of your sins to be saved. It wasn't you have to be baptized to be saved. John the Baptist taught, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. That's the salvation he taught. Building on that foundation, moving forward, he, he did teach them to be baptized. John the Baptist taught them to purify themselves. He taught them to pray. He taught them to fast. We need a little more of that around here probably. Yes. Me included, right? Amen. Fasting is like, well, that's 1800s. That's like 30 AD. No, it's now. That's right. right? We're Christians. Jesus said when he's gone, it's time that we should start fasting. We ought to consider it. Amen. He also, John the Baptist also taught his disciples once they were saved to confess their sins to God. To deal with the sin in your life. Not just ignore it. Not, well, it's under the blood. Bro, oh, it's all grace. I don't have, no, deal with it. Yeah. He wanted them to grow and it starts by obedience. Right. 